2025 has not been a great year for tech, especially in terms of vulnerabilities. First it was NPM, then it was React Server, I think. And then MongoDB is the latest to join the list. So what is the problem with MongoDB? Consider you're working in a meeting room and you have a whiteboard. You write a few lines, but you can see the faded notes from previous people's meetings. You could decipher what they've written. Something similar happened with MongoDB. So MongoDB uses something called a Zlib. So what Zlib does is handles it handles compression and it all happens at the network layer. Messages are compressed, sent across, so to save some bandwidth, obviously. The problem is with the MongoDB implementation, when a message was sent and it was it was decompressed and the data was saved, instead of returning the length of the saved data, they just returned the entire memory address. So this line, return output dot length, gave someone access to the memory which they should not have. They should have just be, they should have just gotten the length of the data which they written, but instead it gave memory addresses. If you send a large enough message, then you could get back a memory address which contains API keys, secrets, anything basically which does not belong to you. So this is called Mongo Bleed and this is the latest vulnerability. The impacted versions are available here and it is, it is recommended that you remediate them as soon as possible.